Hi, good morning. This is Madam Eileen. How are you doing today? Today we're going to do something quite explosive. We're going to make a volcano. So choose whatever you like. I I'm going to start with three brown and then a yellow and red 160. Now, if you don't have an electric inflator, I'm sorry, but I do have a tutorial on ways to curly cue. I'm going to get these curly cued and out of the way. When you have an electric balloon inflator, you don't really need to pre stretch your balloons, but I like to soften it just a little bit by giving it a good stretch. Warm up the balloon, wrap it around my fingers, insert it on my inflator, and you want to pulse it. You don't want to do it in one straight shot. It gives you a little more control on inflating. That's how I love to make curly cues. If you use a hand inflator, you do want to inflate your balloon all the way, let the air out, and then do what I'm doing. Electric inflators are good, but sometimes they can still be a little slower than mouth inflating or using an inflator like a hand pump or a floor pump. This is the fire to our volcano. I'm going to set it aside. All right, now I'm going to inflate my brown. I could use my electric inflator, but I'm going to grab my floor inflator. I keep my floor inflator in a basket. So it's easy to carry around because I have lots of other stuff in my basket. I carry extra balloons. I carry a uh, garland to make your party and balloon extra special. And I have bottles of water inside. But this is my basket. I have a menu of suggested items and Velcro so I can easily take it on and off. This is what I have my floor pump in. I really don't like to say pump. We're so used to saying it. I like saying inflator because it makes you sound more intelligent, or at least that's what I hope. All right, so take the nozzle and I slip it on. The further down you go, the better. Then I raise it up and I lower it. I'm going to be putting a lot of pinches in this, so I want to leave a tail. The rule of thumb is you want to leave a finger tail for every twist you're planning to make. So I might actually need two, or I might have to let some air out. I'll show you some fun tricks. All right, so I'm going to do a ring. This is going to be the base of the volcano. You don't necessarily have to pinch twist the end if you have a hard time pinch twisting the end. Don't. The way around it is you let that be your connecting joint to the circle once you're done. So as you see, roughly three fingers. But I've kind of gotten away up from measuring with my fingers exactly. And what I do is I pay attention to the proportion. If I make the body so big, it doesn't make sense if the arms are too long or too short. And if we're doing a chibi, they have short little bodies anyways and a huge head, which is supposed to make them cute. And they are indeed cute. So you want to do an even number of pinch twists. If you want more stability, you can do two pinch twists. If you make your pinch twist soft so they're flexible, you can split the pinch twist by grabbing it equally on either side, pinching down, and giving it a turn. If it's soft enough, it will turn. If it's too hard of a bubble, it won't. So your fingers will tell you if it's about to pop. So that's when you stop. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I won't do. I can get eight, but then it's kind of a small volcano. I want ten. So I am going to get some scissors. 
let some air out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get one more pinch twist out of this and have the end as the connector. Maybe. No, it looks like the end is going to have to be the pinch twist. So I grab the end, hold it parallel to the twisted joint, I lift and I twist it. If you have a problem with the end pinch twist going boing, don't worry. When you add the second balloon, it'll stay put. Here we go. I haven't even tied a knot. I'm going to wrap it around. And then if there's time for the tail, and I'm nervous about it becoming undone, then I tie it to my first loop. Alright, so we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more pinch twists. Now, how do you make the pinch twist soft enough to be able to split? I'll show you with the last pinch twist. Okay, so there's my space. When I twist off a bubble for the pinch twist, my fingers come down just a little bit. And that makes my bubble soft. So after I start to twist, I let go. Very soft firm, very soft, firm. You can see a difference. That's how you make a soft pinch twist. When you pinch twist it, it will tighten up. You can test, can you, can you squeeze it together and can your fingers touch? Then you know that that pinch twist is soft enough to split. All right, I'm about to come. I did say that was my last one, did not I? So I'm going to grab the nozzle of the first balloon and I wrap it around that very last pinch twist and now I should have 10 pinch twists all around. Now we're going to determine how high our volcano is going to be. There we go. Now I had a thought I haven't made a volcano before. You're on uncharted territory. Isn't it fun? Okay. I thought maybe of gathering a whole bunch of pinch twists here to catch the fire. Or should I make a ring? Now, I'm going to go with my first plan. The ring, the pinch twists are about an inch and a half wide, inch and a quarter. So if I do 10 of those, ten, think how big a 10 inch ring will end up. I think that'll be too big. So I just want to stay with some pinch twists. So that's what I want to do with this. Four or five pinch twists. The sides of the volcano are going to connect to underneath these pinch twists. Uh, you always get asked to do a dinosaur, but no one asks for a volcano. Except for the rare intelligent child. I lo Don't you love intelligent children like that? Can you make me a volcano to go with my T-Rex? Right. So you want to go equally across. You could go, go side by side and form your volcano side by that. That might be boring. left here. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. You could snap this and pop it. I just don't feel like making a lot of noise this morning. <gasps> what did I do, you ask? Um, after a while, you just do stuff out of habit before you think about explaining. Don't you love YouTube videos? I have been very inspired by Holly Hopper, the Twister Sister, Michael Floyd on Balloon Animal, Cody Williams, Mr. Bomba, Iso Espresso. There's some great balloon tutorials out there. So, 
I take my balloon and I grab it by the knot. Push the knot into the joint of the pinch twist. By holding the knot, the knot's not rubbing and creating friction at that point. If your balloon is going to get a leak, it's going to leak from that point. Alright, now I am taping it and angling it to see how far up I want to make my volcano. It's okay that some sides are shorter and some sides are longer. Volcanoes are a natural formation. They're also not perfectly round, so I think the sun keeps sticking out more. Alright, so I just went up under my pinch twist and down to another pinch twist. Now what we're going to do, we have two choices. It's okay to double bubble because we could add greenery under our volcano. I might do that later. Or you can pinch and pull. See, hold it tight. Squeeze the air out and inch your fingers and push the air out into the end. And some people, when they do this, they like to twist the balloon as they pull, and that creates this little stream. I call that a pull twist. Please, please. You can create a pull twist, that way it's not obvious when you reach over to the next pinch twist and go around. Pull out your pinch twist and see how you want that volcano to look. And then down the other side. Alright, I'm going to show you what I did that first time. I put my thumb underneath the string and pull it towards me. When I say string, I mean the end of the deflated balloon. I go around my thumb. I go around the pinch twist. Back to my thumb. I put the balloon tail on my thumb. Just next to the string. And then I put my finger on the string and pull it through while pulling my thumb out. And that creates a loop. And when you put this end of the balloon through, is the tail of the string. And when you let go, that loop will hug in tight, and you've created a balloon knot. So that's what I do. Sometimes you can wrap the balloon around a lot, and it will stay. But just to make sure there's no air leaks, I like to add that little knot at the end. Looks like I'll need another balloon. And it looks like I can go at least up and down this whole I'm going to at least three times. Maybe four if I stretch my balloon out a little bit more. As balloon animal Michael Floyd says, a squeeze and a stretch. I don't always do that, but it is a very helpful tip. Anything that helps you make balloon art is totally welcome. Oh, I just had a pop. I have two pinch twists on this side and two pinch twists on this side. I decided to show progress. Two and two. Go to the opposite side. Also, it help, it's helpful to give a squeeze and let go. That softens that area because as you twist up the balloon, this part of the balloon has not been touched as much and it can get stiff on you. Now I'm going to, if you don't like to do that pull twist, you can just squeeze, make a very soft bubble, isolate it, and then connect it over to the next pinch twist so that bottom is actually 
doubled like that. Don't be at the bottom of your balloon creation. No one really will notice it. So it's okay to do the bubbles instead of the pull twist. It's your art project. And if you get it wrong, that's okay. It's your art. If you get it wrong and you make it different, you can call that your own personal design and you say you created something wonderful. Back to the volcano. This is the last, very last side of the volcano. Oh, and volcanoes explode. bubbles a little soft, you'll be able to squeeze them like this, push it down, and put it into place. You could say this is starting to look like the dress of a balloon doll. You don't want to look like a balloon doll. I wanted a volcano. So what I'm going to do is volcano taper. So I'm bending my balloon in the middle there. I'm trying to make it look more volcano-y. The more you work with the lid, you start seeing what else it can become. I just also thought it would be a little wider. Maybe I should have used 12 or 14 bubbles to make more wide. Oh, look, I found a fish twist that doesn't have a hat. So I'm pinching this sideways to make it narrow, and I roll it up into place. So see how I fitted it nicely squeezed between these bubbles? Give a little pinch, I feel like that. You'll see that some of these bubbles, I'm going to just break it. Speed. You don't need fingernails. You don't need cutters. Speed and desperation by friction. Rubbing your hands across the balloons as and taking the dirt. Sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. Sometimes my fingers just can't pop the balloon. That's why I carry scissors. I close my eyes. Balloon artists don't like getting to explode either. That's why we get good. Now I'm sticking my thumb under the string, pulling the string around my thumb, around the pinch twist, back to my thumb, grabbing it with my finger, and then switching places with finger and thumb through that loop, and voila, on the mat. So as you see on the inside, it's not even. That's okay. It's a volcano. Now I'm going to get my curly cue. What if I want lava squiggling down to my volcano? So I'm going to attach my lava to the bottom. To a bottom pinch twist. Pull it up. Pinch and roll the rest of this to the middle top of my volcano. I'm only down to three pinch twists on the top of my volcano. But that's okay. It's art and it's working. Can't argue with that. What counts is that you're happy with it, but more importantly, the child you're giving the volcano to is happy. That is why we do what we do. And it doesn't have to be good. Sometimes it's a grown up. All right. Now I'm going to squiggle these together. Just wrap them around. The volcano is shooting the lava. Oh, I just had an idea. A creative idea. It's a creative morning. This is another 160. It's called Goldenrod. It's not orange and it's not yellow. That nice cool but color. I want to create lava bombs shooting out of the volcano. Yeah, you school kids, you know lava bombs. Ah, if you stretch the tip of your balloon before you inflate it, sometimes you get what's called a reverse inflation. That's why I wanted just a little bit. And now I need just a little bit. Come here. This is the way you make antennae for birds. And I, you want to put 
clean up unfinished ends like that nozzle. So I'm going to trim it off. You don't have to find the center. The center is like for antennae. You could have one short and one long coming out of the volcano. Now, find where I want my lava bombs to bend, and then I pull this around the pinch twist. Yes, all the pinch twist screws cross and pull back so they're held in place. I could have some lava shooting down up there. I could have them pointing up in the air like that. I, that's what I had more of an idea. I'm going to do a few more of those. I was thinking orange might be just too strong of a color here. So I could have dark orange. That would blend yellow, red, goldenrod, a little bit of orange. Put on my insulator. Ah, did it once again. How about just a little more? You want to think that how big you want the end of your bobbles to be. And then double it. Isolate it. Give the end you want the bubble to travel it to. And then give a sudden squeeze. Sometimes you have to chase it, but sometimes it works beautifully. Sometimes I like to squeeze. The more I squeeze, the more that balloon's going to remember to stay that full, and the air won't want to go rushing back to the other side. That's frustrating. One side bigger than the other. Go around under all the pieces, crisscross. And then come back the other way. And I think I'll get orange just to see how it looks against my art. So here we go. I am stretching out that tip, sticking my insulator on the side, clicking it on. This is a first generation Legenda. Very good. The newer generations of Legenda are junk. I hear so many problems. I hold the length of the balloon as much as I can to encourage that bottom to inflate first. And I don't like to cut off the tip, the uh, nozzle end, until after I got the bobble where I want it to be. Because if there just might be too much pressure and that knot comes shooting off. So that's why I do that the way I do. So one side shorter than the other, just to make it look like a better lava bomb. Go around. Oh, I'll do it so you can see. Around the candy foot. In the other direction. That looks really fun, that bright orange. And, uh, and now I just go through and I just, do I want to have yellow next to yellow? No. So I'm going to put the yellow on this side, rearrange and just change them so you like. So there you go, folks. A volcano of explosive proportion. Now we're going to add the jungle around the, what do you call it, around the volcano. You can use different shades of green. You can use plain green. You don't even have to go around the same bubble. Oh, that would look good. So many choices. I love it. Okay. I can even use a four pump to inflate these 160s. I slip it on. I give a Pull up, I pull it up as I push down. I'm going to do a lot of string of pearls. That's when you do row after row of little bubbles. Let's see. Is that the correct one? Maybe it is. Now I'm inflating string green. There's 
a little color different. Not much. Just adding a little more air to this one. Pick which pencil you want to start on. I'm going to go over two and then connect it. Pinch it and then roll it into that joint. Use it, go over two. I see I have a pinch to set the flavor. I've gone around it. Actually, I'll go around twice. What I'm, gonna, what I'm doing is, if there's a pinhole at that joint, by going around, it's like putting on a bandage. Hopefully, I sealed the hole by going around twice and using the green to do the pinch push as the filler. Go around two. Oh, let's see. I might be able to get around two or three. I could add a new balloon or I could add some more air. When you have an electric inflator, it makes this very easy. It's still doable with a hand inflator or a floor inflator. I only need to do two more twists, so I have at least two fingers of room here at the end of the balloon. If you tie it loosely, you can even pull that out and extend it just a little bit. able to go around with one balloon. So if it was longer, if I had used 12 or 14, you'd need to use more balloons. Now, I'm going to use the darker balloon and add accents. Now you see where I did one pinch push in the green? That blends rather than just leaving the brown pinch just there. So, in the future, I might want to consider making the base of the volcano out of green, not brown. This is creating fun. I pinch and I twist. Always twist in the same direction. I've, I've made a few bubbles. Now I'm going to use the end and I'm going to sew under and over and around. I'm going to use it more below this way, but I like the way it looks. It's my art. I hope that's your art. I love to be silly. I love to have fun. I am making this on a wonderful Sunday morning. I'm going to be getting ready for church in a few hours. Church is very important to me. Now, it doesn't matter how many bubbles you do in going around. If you make smaller bubbles, you'll use up more. If you make bigger bubbles, you'll use less bubbles to go around. So I just eyeball it. But in case you wanted to know, on average, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. On average, I have 12 bubbles for darker green that I'm wrapping around. And the spiral looks really fun and pretty, too. It's okay if you use 10 on one and 14 on the other, or even just 8. Because nature is not symmetrical. There's always some little variation. Here at the end. And it. And up. Connect it. So you can see it's looking really fun and spaced out. I can even get a lighter green and weave maybe in the other direction. Let's get another look. Well, I'm 
sorry I missed posting a video last week Thursday, or did I? I have some of these on automatic, so they just, I make them, and then they automatically go out. But I had a busy 4th of July. Did you? Did you see the fireworks? I was the VIP balloon sister over at Westworld. Westworld is a huge indoor facility. They have Arabian horse shows there and rodeos, but it's also air conditioned. This place is as large as four football fields, or maybe even bigger. And in Arizona, summer get really hot. So, enjoying the 4th of July at Westworld is the place to be. Oops. If you let go of your string of pearls, they will unravel. Unexpectedly. Down, go up, go under. Looks like I only have one more to go. I'm only doing one, two, three twists, and then moving to the next one, two, three twists. One, two, three. In case you wanted to see how my fingers do it. Go down, go down, and turn up. have this little bit. I can tear it off or I could just add it to the balloon. I think I'm just I'm just gonna add one more string and just make it longer. Oh, I just want it. Do I want it? Stretch it up. It could be a tree. It'll be a tree. There's a fuzzy, bushy tree at the side of my volcano. I'm rolling the last last little tip of this balloon so I'm the perfect little bubble. So I'm wrapping it around. And so now I have this leaky mess. So I could just find find the center, twist it together. And then I'm just going to take one ring, so I have two rings of bubbles now. I'm just going to tuck one ring down and inside. If you ever need a string of grapes, it's very similar. And then I'm just pushing and tucking and pulling the inside loop up and pushing and tucking the downside. So there we go. We've got a little bush, pushing it in so it hugs the volcano. It's not sticking out too funny. Now I'm going to get a 160 line and mix the bubbles and see how that looks. If I don't like the way it looks, I can always pop it and take it off. It's a complicated volcano. There's always layers and steps. All good art i found is made with layers. So the dark one went in and down, and I'm thinking the light one should go in the opposite direction. It should go over. Over again. That. I was thinking that comes up and under. There's another thing I learned. Your bubbles, your shrimp pearls don't all have to be the same size. Some could be really small, some could be big. A little variety and variation will make this more believable that this is a volcano. I'm just asking myself, does it really need to go down, under, and around? I haven't decided yet. I was thinking just going diagonally from bottom to one, to top to next. But by tucking it under, did you see what I did? I stopped and took both hands off the balloon. 
if I did that to a normal string of pearls, I would have disasters all unravel. But the green balloon is pressing the light balloon against the brown. And as a result, it did not unclip because it's held. As long as you hold it, it's something that is holding that balloon, it will not come undone. But that's what I'm doing. I have. Hopefully that is looking good. If you don't twist it enough, your string of pearls will become undone. So I just re twisted it there. I can come through to my bushy tree. So I'm going to wrap this bubble, or the light balloon, around the bubble joints of the tree instead of the pinch twist. But notice, I'm coming from the bottom up on the light green vegetation. So now from the top, I need to make sure that I then roll it down to the bottom so it continues that up and over. Too much air. It's one reason why I can't I have pin cushions nearby. Sorry for the clatter folks. If you do a tiny pinhole, air will be leaking out of this end and you can continue twisting and get a few more bubbles out before you run out of balloon. Oops, looks like that's it. All up. So over, under, attach. And then one more, 160 degrees. Here it is. Maybe I want to add some more fireballs to this. It's looking really fun. I should do some of that. Yeah, it looks so fun. Wrap it around. Make sure that the light of color is at the bottom. I don't ever remember seeing a tutorial for a balloon volcano. Of course, as you see, I'm putting lots of details in this, so it's not really considered line work. This would be more for a, a table center piece. Or a but at any point, you can stop. You don't have to do all this fine, fine detail. You can do a simple line work balloon volcano just by doing the triangle shape. Maybe I'll uh, do another volcano video and keep it simple. Show you what the line work volcano should look like. This is me making art and having fun. And hopefully you're having fun too. The balloon conventions are starting up. Have you decided which one you're going to go? I personally like Fav. F-A-V-E. Held at the Alaska Resort in Las Vegas, right by the airport. It's one of the few hotels that does not have any casinos. And family friendly. 
a new habit that took convention to use into a convention led by clowns. They are funny. They are fun. They're very forgiving of mix-up and mistakes. All right, there we go. Got a dark tree there. Maybe I'll make, I'll make this into a light color tree. I'll see how many twists I can make. You don't have to really count. Just, just make them, twist them. See what they look like. Sometimes you may like it. Sometimes you won't. I'm pinching the air out of this end. Pushing the pin through. And then putting the pin back in the pin cushion. So it doesn't fall on the floor and freak out your husband. Yeah, my husband does not like needles. He doesn't like sewing needles. And he especially doesn't like pins on the floor. Okay, and then I'm going to push and wrap this little tail around that pinch twist. One of my little bubbles undid itself, but that's okay. Maybe I meant to do that. So I'm going to make a little loop. This time it's just four ended together. And I just push that in. Pull the bottom up while I'm pushing the top down so the two joints cross each other. And then last of all, just to see what it would look like red. I thought about what if I put yellow on the end as the fireball, but then fire bombs are actually at this point cooling. So they wouldn't be cherry red. They wouldn't be glowing yellow. They'd be cooling off, so they'd be the reds and the oranges. Okay. Slipping it on my inflator. Putting it down. Sliding it on my inflator. Holding the base of the balloon. And, ta-da! I'm getting better at this. I remember when it was so impossible for me to do a reverse inflation on purpose quite funny. But then I go to get a balloon and I inflate it for a little kid and they un inflate. It's like, why? It's inflating when it wants to, not when I want to. But when the balloons start doing what you want, when you want them, then you can think of yourself as a balloon master. And if someone says, I'd never do that in a line work, but I do. Why? It feeds my soul. I am an artist. There's a learn though. Oh yeah, you can kind of say you're artistic. But then you're letting yourself in for a world of hurt because all the hundred kids are going to want the fancy volcano. Ah. So in case you want to make a lot of volcanoes. Make it just for the birthday kid. So well, that's my explosive volcano. Happy twisting and have a fun day. Goodbye, everybody.